Welcome back. Um, <clears throat> one thing that uh, kids tell me is that it takes a long time to watch these videos. And yeah, they are a little long. This one's like 8 minutes 41 seconds. And you can probably skip through some of this. You can either watch the slides PDF. This one is, is on input and variables. So when you start to play it... So, you've done two lessons so far. And you can output the... things to the screen which is pretty exciting by itself. Not, but, uh, but in today's lesson, we're going to start asking the user yeah, questions. This is called input. Knows, you can, and maybe Let's start today by looking at a code example. We've got a short little program you here. Know, You'll notice it starts off with something new. Scanner scan like equals new scanner of system.in. But down here at the bottom, we see some pieces that are familiar. We have a system.out.println that's outputting what is your name. And then the very last line is saying hello and in, and then nice to meet you. So let's start by so running it and seeing what happens. If I go ahead and compile, uh, and we don't have any errors, you know, gonna so now I'm going to hit F2 to run. And notice down here on the output screen, it says, what is your name? And we have this little box showing so up. Go so I'm going to type in, this is so anyway, since and there's so many videos, film, this I mean, is there's hours, there we go. hours and hours. And when I hit enter, it says, hello, Mr. Toby, nice to meet you. I'm going to run it again by hitting F2. And now I'm going to type in Ada for Ada Lovelace. And it says, hello, Ada, nice to meet you. So what's happening here is we've got this line right here, n equals scan.next line. And that's what's actually... 